Got a fish. Dude, that's a nice one. I think I got a fish. Awkward hook set. Here we go. Yep, there we go. On the sinky head. Here is a good way to clean out your pan. Let's take some pine needles. Nature's Brillo Pad. Works good. We are here out of the honey hole. Let's see if we can catch some fish. You ready? I'm ready. Guys, I'm seeing bass already. Yep, I just saw one swim off. They are definitely active. I literally just saw one. So we're gonna take our jerk bait and go over here. It's still kind of windy. So maybe the jerk bait will produce something. Dude, first cast on a shaky head with a Senko on it. I got a fish. Oh, there it is. Awkward hook set. Got a fish. Dude, that's a nice one. Heck yeah. On the Shanko head. Nice. A Senko. A Senko on a shaky head. Heck yeah, now I need another battery. We're in business. What's up guys? We are on the road again on the way to Lakes XYZ for a little bit of, you know what? It is cold. put it to you this way my thermometer says ice <laughs> so we're gonna get on the road get out of the way and once we get there we're gonna see if we can find some cold winter bass so funny when people look at my rod carrier. They don't know what it is. A rocket launcher, a potato gun, a giant water cannon, uh, a cannon from a tank. Never once did I guess it's for rods. I just think it's funny.
All right, guys. I made it out here to Lakers XYZ, and I'm going to throw my Sankey head. Yeah, I see I'm moving out there. So, what I'm using, what I am using, like I said, is a Sanko with a Deep Creek Lures shaky head. So, give it a cast out there and see what happens. And it looks like I need to change my battery. So, stay tuned. We'll see you back in a minute, but I'm going to wait see if there was any fish hanging off of this drop. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, he came off. Dude, he came off. That was a nice one. All right. Let's get it back out of there. I knew there would be a fish hanging off. Drag a set good. to let this sit for a minute let them take it because it is a big Senko so we'll throw it back out there and see if we can put one on the line I'm seeing a lot of movement just below the surface so, oh, that was a hit. I know they're moving around. All right, we'll get it in and uh, swap out my battery. All right, guys, we're just going to take a walk over to this drop when uh, Blake and I was here. In that last video where we came out, there was a lot of fish biting along this wall, and I'm not quite sure why, but we will try it again and see what happens. If I can catch one today, I will be very happy because it is cold out here. It's like 38 degrees right now. The sun is shining, but it's not warm <laughs> by any means. So that is my goal is just to catch one. I am taking this bait and chunking it out just as far as I can get it. And when I'm out this far, it's kind of tough to make a normal hook set. So usually when I, when I set the hook, I will actually grab the rod like this so that I can set the hook well. Yeah, they're moving. I had one hit on the Sankey head and uh, nothing, nothing else. So... We'll try a few more spots. I'm gonna walk over here and we'll see what else we can find. I think I got a fish. Awkward hook set. Here we go. Yep, there we go. On the sinky head. 
Not a bad fish. Man, are they munching. Pretty fish. Oh, it feels good to have one of these in my hand. Thank you, baby. Oh, gosh, that's awesome, guys. Awesome. I'll tell you what, when you get that first fish, it is such a confidence booster because you know what they're hitting on. And if you can catch one with a certain bait, the possibility of you catching another one is very, very good. I'm going to take a walk down along this edge, give the spot a minute. If I don't catch anything on this next cast, give it a minute to calm down, and then uh, I might come back, or I might just go to another pond. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, nothing here. So we're going to make a move, go down to the other side of the shore you know what i might go up here to the rocks for a minute and see if there's any hanging out up here and see what happens so i'm gonna walk it down here and cast parallel to the shoreline i might even spook off a fish right here on the shore nope nothing there but We'll give it a cast. Should be able to pull one off along this wall. All right, nothing here, so we're gonna move again. We'll make a move right down here and cast out deep. Let's see if we can find one hanging out here. All right, nothing there, so we're gonna make a few casts over here and uh, see what we can find. Got one, guys, right here at the rocks. Oh, I got off. He got off. Try it again. Let's try to let him run with it some more. That was a nice one too. Nice fish, but he got off. That's a nice fish, man. He had it in his mouth and was running with it. Cold. Man, are they cold. But I'm throwing the watermelon red Senko on a shaky head, which normally you don't do, but because it's so cold, they're, they're not moving fast. But that's... Bad. No, not not for over here. Don't they don't catch them over here. He's got some some girth to him. It's what 38, 39 degrees. 37. 37. Jeez. Yeah, it was right. I had one hit over here and it got off, but then I threw a parallel over here. Guys, that was a nice fish. Number two, slow and steady with that sanky head. I'm just dragging it along the bottom. And although it's cold, 37 degrees by William's clock, um, 
they're still hungry they're still looking for food so it's a good sign I'm not really moving the rod very erratic I'm just kind of dragging it along the bottom and, and I knew when I had that one come from over there that it had it I just had to wait because they're slow and they're sluggish there was another hit right there same spot Got it. I had one following it. Yeah, you picked it up. Here we go. Number three, awkward hook set. Number three, another decent fish on that sinky head. That is a freaking slime, guys. Watermelon red. Senko on a shaky head. Pretty fish. Cold, cold water. They are. They are digging the Senki head, guys. I like it. Number three. In that same spot. I wonder what is down there. That they're hanging out over there that's not usually a place that I catch fish uh, maybe one but not two in a row in the same spot over here anyways I felt something weird on my line so I knew that one had it and then I looked down and I see my line moving and they were swimming Swimming down deep with it. Sweet, sweet guys. Number three. Nice and slow. Don't get in a rush. Work that worm nice and slow along the bottom give them time to get the bait in its mouth and then once you see the fish is swimming off then set the hook this uh cold water um fishing can be a bit slow and a bit boring at times but if you're consistent and you stick with it um, it will pay off this water is so clear that the watermelon red just kind of blends in but there's just enough flash with that red that they can kind of key in on it and they see it. We give it one more cast, kind of out towards the middle, and then we'll move on. I'm actually using a high gear ratio reel. This is the 751 with in the carbon fire series. Um, it's only seven five one but you can make it retrieve as slow as you want depending on how fast you work your bait along the bottom yep those are these i can see them moving in the water you have a uh, yeah i'll give it one more cast out here they're moving they're on the move for sure, you can see them swimming around. 
All right, keep on moving, guys. Keep on moving. All right, guys, nothing here. We'll try one more spot and then we're gonna bounce. Let's do it. That was number four, guys. Oh, that was a nice one. Got off. All right, let's try out where the island is. Let's see if I can get something to hit out there off of that drop. It's a perfect time right now. Suns are going down. It's beautiful out here. Weeds. Weeds, weeds, and more weeds. One more. What the heck? Cats are right out in the middle. Let it sink to however deep it is. And then we're going to bounce. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We are 10 away from our next giveaway already. Y'all are awesome. Well, guys, I figured I would give it a little bit longer and see if I could find one or two more, at least one more, but I don't know. Oh, did I bite? That might be my cue. All right. Can't win them all. Holy smokes. This is some, some good line. P line floral clear. Yep, there we go. Broke off. That's my cue. You win some, you lose some, right? All right, guys, time to go home. See you on the next one.